There's been lots of questions on where we got this Nouveau first place plaque. I want to give like relationship advice, but no relationship I've ever been in has been approved by those around me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, guys. <sighs> first question. We're starting off deep. You can learn from your mistakes, but you can't dwell on your mistakes. Voila! It's so funny because I'm filming a podcast and you're just watching Glee and eating Crave. I love Glee. Oh my god. Give a little life update real quick. If you could major or minor in anything at NYU, what would it be? Oh, that's so weird. What's living in New York like? Is it fun? So right now, it's freezing cold and it's like not even November yet which is not fun. I started this podcast for one reason and it's turned into something else. My mom is gonna text me and be like, you did not do good this episode. Sometimes I wish that I could just quit. But then the other times there's nobody better than this. Even though you never listen and you're always right. And I guess I would have never bit your time Except for that first night Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to season two, episode seven of Stop Talking Kens with my series called Caffeinated Kens with a K. I have some Starbucks here and I'm gonna be drinking it and chatting with you guys. So obviously I want to have a new guest like every single week, that's the goal. But with college and just like crazy schedules and living in a dorm, not everything is going to align every single week. And because I have given myself the goal and I like to stick to my goals of posting a new episode every single week, I'm going to maintain that. And I'm perfectly content with sitting here talking with you guys and just like diving all in, I guess, like every week because the goal like I said, is to have a new guest every week, and I've been reading your comments, your DMs, everything. You guys are so great, and you've given me so many recommendations. Once competition season is going, and I'm attending those competitions and everything, it's gonna be easier to get all of the people that you guys want, but I can't just fly out to Minnesota and film at Larkin. Like, I would love to. It's a dream, that would be a dream, but it's not obtainable. It's not obtainable. So for now, you're working with what you got and yeah. I keep asking you guys on social media, ask me questions, what do you wanna know, college life, all of the things. So we're just gonna dive right in. First question, we're starting off deep. What do you wanna do after college? This is a very hard question because going to college you go into college with a goal. I'm a dance major, but as you get into college, you see so many different opportunities and so many different majors and minors that present. So with that being said, I obviously will get my dance BFA at the end of my three years, but I also want to major or minor in something. So going into NYU, I had the thought of major or double majoring in journalism and that's something that's so appealing to me and I love it but then as I was looking more there are a lot of minors that strike my interest for example like social media strategies or just like things like that really catch my eye because I genuinely love not I don't love social media that's kind of a weird thing to say just because there's so many negative things about social media but I love creating and crafting things for social media, if that makes sense. And I do like the outlet. I do like the outlet and the opportunities that social media provides. However, there obviously are so many negative things and just like negative connotations that go along with social media. But I do love crafting things for social media as you guys see like my podcast for example that's one example or just like little videos I like to make I love doing it and lots of just like inspiration strikes me when I'm laying in bed and I just like I'm like I want to do this I want to do this but like I need to chill calm down so yeah I don't know what I want to do after college obviously I love my podcast and I've always said 
I want to have my own podcast studio or be a talk show host or be the next Jimmy Fallon, whatever comes my way. But yeah, I'm just hoping for the best. Please reintroduce yourself to your new followers. Hello. Hi. What? <laughs> Hello, I'm Mackenzie Couch. A lot of people call me Kens. Um, I'm a dancer. I've grown up being a dancer. I've fallen into social media. I've started this podcast to kind of... I started this podcast for one reason, and it's turned into something else. And I think a lot of people didn't think I was going to continue it after I went to college, but... And honestly, I didn't know either, but it's something I found that I genuinely love doing. So that's why I'm never going to, or not say never going to stop, but I'm going to keep going for as long as I can. It's literally a random Tuesday at 5.30 and I'm sitting here filming a podcast. Like a lot of college kids can't say that they're doing that. And I love it. I love sharing things. I love being able to like provide information and I think like by bringing on a new dancer that you guys all love every single week we're learning more about people that we maybe wouldn't have how is it without the twins all the time it's definitely very different for sure but I FaceTime a lot I FaceTime them a lot they text me a lot I literally was texting my mom that Cameron annoyed me today and she's literally across the country and my mom's like just ignore her like I mean it's obviously really different but they're super busy I think that's something that is helpful is I'm super busy they're super busy so there's not a time a lot of time to just like sit here and like be sad I guess obviously I'm sad I miss them a lot but I mean I know everything that's happening in their life so I think like just like staying busy and like keeping having a lot of things to keep me busy is like something that keeps me going like having a big to-do list and like staying productive and lots of things to do not just like lay in bed even though I love to sleep you can ask Loyla, but she can't hear. I love sleeping, and I think sleep is really important. My mom will tell you that until you're blue in the face, but I think just, like, constantly keeping yourself productive and busy keeps you going and keeps your mind distracted off of things that, like, might bring you down, like missing family or, like, missing... Okay, this is going to go off on a little tangent, but... I think I may have talked about this, but Loyla and I have talked a lot about just like not having any regrets. So going into college, I'm looking to not have any regrets. Like you go to college, most people once in your life, and it's a very exciting time of your life. A lot of people have told me like, this is like your like prime time. So I'm just like trying to absorb it all in, take it all in and just like live my prime, like look my best, feel my best, do my best, just like all the things because you want to live your college life. And that's why I think I love documenting things, having the memories, having these things to look back on. I love like creating, like I said, I like taking photos. I like, I mean, taking videos and photos and like making them into something. I love doing that. But like also having the memories, like having the memories is kind of just like a plus side because I don't do it for that. I do because I love to do it. But like, that is something that I had. And that's something I, a passion I wish I found sooner because I would have loved to have those videos throughout all my high school. And it kind of started towards the end of my senior year, maybe like senior year ish into like college now. But like, I guess better late than ever. What's your middle name? My middle name is Grace Mackenzie Grace Couch. If you could train at any studio besides the ones you grew up training at, what would you choose? I would choose never leaving Project 21, if I'm being so honest. I've talked about this a lot with, like, my teachers and my mom. And, like, I guess this goes back to, like, never having regrets. Just, like, I, I've, okay, I don't know if I, I've definitely never talked about this online, but just, like, thinking, looking at my senior year and, like, looking how far I've come from, my first year back at Project to then my second year, which was my senior year, I was like, wow, like such a big difference, right? I was just like, was talking a lot about like, what if, like, what if I never left? Like, where would I be now? Like, and I really struggle with that. That's something I struggle with, what ifs. And I think like, you can't do that. You can't be like, what if this happened? What if this? Because 
that's living in the past and I think like living in the present is so much better and presence is key in life. But yeah, I've wondered a lot what if I never left and where would I be now? But I think everyone ends up exactly, I sound like a positive, I sound like I'm like a, I sound like I'm a positive like speaker or words of affirmation speaker, but like that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to like, like what from what I've learned, I had a lot of what if senior year. Just like seeing myself senior year versus even just the year before, lots of what ifs were coming through and you can't live like that because you can't go back and change time. Because you can't go back and change time, you can't you can't dwell you can learn from your mistakes but you can't dwell on your mistakes so I think just like knowing that is like it helps me know what to do moving forward yeah I don't know but I wouldn't have another studio that I choose to train at just never leaving Pro 21 which is a long story what's living in New York like is it fun so right now it's freezing cold and it's like not even November yet which is not fun but there is something to do every day, all day. Like every single weekend, I swear to you, Loyla and I have done something different, whether it be like we walked like 50 blocks this weekend to Times Square and just like seeing everything is like so insane. Just like even walking 50 blocks, which seems like a lot, um, you see so much and you never get bored. Like there's just so much going on all the time. I actually have a story. So after our 50 block walk to a little bit past Times Square, because we went to the Jimmy Fallon haunted house. I feel like the lighting's changing, but it's because Loyla's like in her mirror doing skincare. Okay, after we walked 50 blocks back, we were walking back, to, we were walking back to our dorm and this guy came up to me and he was like, oh, I was wearing a Yankees like mad happy sweatshirt. And he came up to me. This is sweatshirt, by the way, has gotten me a lot of attention from men on the side of the streets from New York. I'm not gonna lie. This is my not my first interaction I've had since wearing this hoodie. So I had him on my Yankees Mad Happy hoodie, and he comes up to me and he was like, "Oh, are you like keeping up with the game?" And I was like, "Oh no." And then he was like, "So you're not a baseball fan?" And I was like, "I am. I'm just like not watching the game." And he's like, "So why do you have on the hoodie?" And then I was like, "And then he was like, where's it from? Whatever." And then he was like. I can tell you're from not from New York. And then he was like, right? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, where are you from? California. And I was like, California. Okay, whatever. And then he was like, oh, you're not going out tonight? And then, because it was like Halloween weekend. I don't know. And I was like, no. I'm like walking back to my dorm. And he was like, oh, you go to NYU? I was like, yeah. And then he was like, have a nice night. And I was like, thanks. And he was like, you're supposed to say like, you too. You're so selfish. You're going nowhere in life. He starts like screaming at me. And I was like, what the heck did I even do? And it's interactions like those that just are, make me be like, wow, like New York is like a crazy place to be. But like living, I'm 18, almost 19 years old in New York City is like so many kids dreams. So I'm just like so grateful and just like trying to take all in. I'm take it all in. I'm living my gossip girl fantasy out here. So yeah, I'm just trying to take it all in for sure, but living in New York is crazy. And just like learning to navigate through everything is crazy. Someone said, are you gonna going to assist Molly at Jump Long Island or New York? Oh my gosh, <laughs> <That's>... we are. <laughs> <sighs> She's alive, everyone. Wait, I feel like people like don't know how you're doing, Loyla. What do you mean? <laughs> Loyla, wait, let me ask you one question, okay? Here, talking to the mic. If you could major or minor in anything at NYU, what would it be? Food tasting. <laughs> That's not a thing, Loyla. <laughs> this is my thing. I got this new lip gloss today, and it's the Ola Henriksen one, but, like, they're, like, collab with... And it says, I love me on it. I, that's the shade, and it tastes so good, and it... You're not, supposed to, you're not supposed to eat it. Oh, my God. I <laughs> okay. Caffeinated with Ken's. My mom was going to text me and be like, you did not do good this episode. I wish I had, like, a mic. I've been really inspired lately by Alex Earl's podcast. And that's why I honestly... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, 
pandemic thing to go away, but it's not like down here. It's like I'm. People will give you good advice. People give me a lot of good advice. Like, preferably not like Tums, because <laughs> I don't like the taste of it. Like, maybe like a pill, that will help. But I'm like I don't know because like it's I don't have like chronic like <laughs> frequent like stomach pain, but it still hurts right now and. What are you doing? Oh my god, I literally can't feel my legs. <laughs> can't feel your legs? <laughs> my mom was gonna watch this and be like, what was so weird? But we already knew this. We're doing like acting now. Okay, I have been getting a lot of questions. How do you and Moila not get sick of each other? And honestly, I don't know. <laughs> honestly, how do we not? I feel like we literally are laughing all the time. Like seriously, because Loyla's so weird like this. Like it makes me laugh. I am not weird. <laughs> a lot. Okay, like. But yeah, seriously, we are laughing all the time, and it's just like it's so fun. We actually, I was in bed, and I was like, Loyla. What's gonna be the downfall of our friendship? And then we start, and then it was like, I don't know, like 10 minutes went by. And like, um, we started talking about Alzheimer's, but she pronounces it Alzheimer's. No, Alzheimer's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come here and say, <laughs> come here, come here and say, say it into the mic, because it's so wrong. ASMR. <laughs> All time, wait, Alzheimer's. It's wrong, it's Alzheimer's. She thinks there's a T in it, and I then don't she. Think there's a T. I just think the Z H is like. Ch ch and then she like googled a pronunciation video, and like played it for me, and she was like, "See, I'm right." And then I was like, "This is the downfall of our friendship: how to pronounce Alzheimer's." Yeah, seriously, we we just like have a blast every day. I was saying like when you had your headphones and watching Glee, like we just like. We are like ex we explore so much every single week, and you know. <laughs> like every weekend we just like go do something new because there's so much to oh. do in New York. <laughs> Loyla said while I watch Glee. I mean while she watches Glee I <laughs> That sounds so wrong in my life. Why? <laughs> oh my god. Are you leaving? See you later. Bye guys. Tell Loyla bye. Do you want your own episode soon? She doesn't like her own, like, spotlight moments. She prefers to be guest appearances and <laughs> other things. She would rather be, like, a side, like, character that, like, gets featured sometimes than a main character. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Adios, Bye. She's so weird, guys, but seriously having her with me and just like here is like makes this even more fun like 10 times more fun because I don't know what I'd be doing oh I she's back already she came back Loyla why are you back why are you back why are you back I actually <laughs> you need a <laughs> you 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 can't I literally was like, she's back, guys. She's back. And then I heard the keys jingle. Oh, geez. Just when we finally thought we got rid of her and she comes right back. Okay. <laughs> Do you need your backpack? Like, no. Yeah. I hope your stomach feels better. Like, you're going to text me in like 30 minutes and be like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Say bye again. <laughs> <sighs> they can't hear you. I'm literally talking to a mic. She's whispering. No one knows how to read lips. She's telling you guys to read her lips. Okay, bye. What do you like to do outside of dance? My podcast, 
social media related things. I don't like to say social media because like I rambled on about social media has a lot of negative things to it. But I like to do social media related things. I like to do Pilates. I love Pilates. I'm currently training for to run a marathon. I will. Someone hold me to this. This time next year, I will be running the New York Marathon, 26 miles. I really want to. It's actually this Saturday, but I can't. My mom told me I can't just pick up and run a marathon, 26 miles. So, unfortunately, we're being postponed till next season. But my training starts now. And I actually, for a while, like last summer, I was posting on TikToks like, run with me. I actually don't know if they're still on my page, but maybe I'll do it again. It's just like has to be at the gym at NYU because it is freezing cold to be running outside. I would run down the block and then turn right back around because I would have frostbite on my fingertips. Like it's so cold. And people who live in New York are probably watching this like, girl, it's going to get so much colder. Oh, I know. But I'm scared because I'm already freezing and... My mom's been sending me, like, functional jackets that will keep me warm throughout this time. And I'm like, no. It is fashion over – it is style over comfort all the way. I'm all about the style, which my outfit is so not stylish. It's just what I wore to dance today. But I love – all the girls in New York walking the streets, they look so fab. They're walking with their wired headphones in – oh, my God. That reminds me. I want to buy wired headphones. They're walking with their wired headphones in. They have, like, locked in. They're so focused. They look so great. They're strutting down the street in their cute little outfit. And I aspire to walk with such confidence, such style, such grace through the streets of New York like they do. They inspire me, really. They walk and they don't even look back. Like, seriously, they're locked in. They're walking with purpose, with a mission. So that's what I aspire to be like, which means I can't be wearing not, I can't be wearing functional but not stylish jackets if I want to obtain this goal of confidently walking with the purpose, with style, with grace, with ease, all of the things. How do you deal with friendship breakups I guess okay I think just like surrounding yourself with the right people like Loyla for example I've known her since seventh grade but we didn't come become close till 10th grade and we've been best friends ever since like we seriously just clicked and I think just like having okay we've been best friends since 10th grade we're now rooming together in college freshman in college we've never fought Like, we don't fight. We get along, like, great, as you guys see. Like, every single conversation between the two of us is literally like this. Like, you can ask all of our friends. Like, I think it's just, like, surrounding yourself with the right people. Like, having – I've gone through friendship breakups. Like, I've had best friends who are no longer my best friends. Or I've had friends that I don't talk to anymore because – They might seem like your true friend at the time, but when any sort of, like, conflict or something arises that could, like, I don't know, just, like, when something doesn't go their way, that's when they're, like, out of it, or you can see them, like, doing things only for themselves and, like, not considering you, like, I don't know, I think there's a self, you have to be this is, like, kind of, like, giving relationship, but, like, you have to be selfless and with your friends sometimes and just like not only doing things for yourself but I've seen I've been through friendship breakups and it might be hard but just like knowing that a negative thing is exiting your life for a reason to be more positive and just like everything happens for a reason I'm seriously such a firm believer in that we did do a spoken word solo the other day and that's how my solo ended I was like and that is why I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason But seriously, like, just knowing that this person is exiting your life for a reason. So find the positive. 
you will find your Loyla, hopefully. I hope everyone in their life has a Loyla because, seriously, she is just the best. People can be people and let let them. Let them do their own thing and let them make those choices. But don't make those choices with them. And I am literally, no one can peer pressure me. Literally in college, like, I didn't think I was going to have a hard time with this because I'm just, like, such a strong personality. Everyone will tell you I am bossy. I am a strong personality. No one can push me around. But I think in high school I got pushed around a lot, and it made it hard, and it made my experience less than it could have been because I let people push me around. In college, no more of that. I've seriously – people are like, do this, and I'm like, no. And then I'm like, no, and then they don't ask me again because I'm like, no. And if I just stay true to myself and to those beliefs, like I think all of you guys should, I think you should stay true to your beliefs and don't let other people around you influence you. And if your friends are trying to influence you to do things you don't want to do, then they're not your true friends. And you need to wait and let those negative energies exit your life and wait to find positive ones because it will come. Fave class so far. Okay. Uh, I have ballet and contemporary every single day. Oh, my God. I had a fab contemporary class today. It was so good. I loved it. And then I have a gen ed, which is just like, okay, if you're watching this, my teacher, it is so amazing. Like, I love it. Then we have composition, which is like creating, crafting. We have music, learning about music. We have anatomy, which is just, it's good, but it's really hard. Like the tests are really hard. So that's not amazing. Then we have production, which we learn about like all the components that go into the show. And I was videographer for show and it was, I loved it. Seriously, I would do it for every single show, but I can't unfortunately but my favorite class of them all I don't know actually probably my contemporary class that I had today was so good I loved it it reminded me a lot about uh, it reminded me a lot of Corian Troy and then I texted Paige my teacher one of my teachers and was like you trained me well in modern because I felt very like prepared and as a dancer you know there's nothing there's no better feeling than like feeling prepared in a class like feeling like you know what you're doing you're on top of it you're like looking good like there's nothing better and I just like felt like that like I felt confident I felt prepared I felt like I knew what I was doing and that's just like always a good feeling oh my god something I just like looked up and I saw my green water bottle well my mom got me this beautiful blue is my favorite color if you can't tell and the closet just came blue by the way in the door But my mom got me a blue water bottle before I left college. It was the most perfect color blue. And I lost it. I left it in my gen ed class and it was nowhere to be found because I don't think lost and found is a thing in college. It was a very sad, very sad day. But everyone tells me olive green is the best looking color on me. But Loyla's favorite color is green. That's why I can't. Not that I can't, like, Loyla would not say anything if I, like, switch my favorite color to green. But my favorite color genuinely is blue. How did I lose my hair tie? How did this even happen? I had a braid in. Oh, I see it. It's on the floor. When I started my podcast, I think we got to, like, episode 21 or something. And then we took a long, or I, not we, I took a long break. And, like, breaks are good. Breaks are needed. But I still could have gotten an episode out every single week if I just did them by myself and I think like I've been too embarrassed or like too scared to post an episode where it's just me by myself because it makes it seem like oh I couldn't get a guest for that week or something and because to me it's more important to do what I love share what I love be consistent and post every single week even if it is by myself like who cares literally who cares because I'm still sharing knowledge I'm still putting something out there even with even if it's just me and that's like totally okay but obviously the goal is to have a person here every single week but it's a little bit difficult 
to do in college with just like and I also don't know everyone here yet so like I've gotten the people on here that I do know and like am close with and like have a relationship with a pre-relationship before going to college I've obviously made so many new like connections and friendships since being here but it just takes time it all takes time and I hope the podcast keeps growing And there's seriously just, like, so much in store and so much to come. Yeah, there's just so much to come, and I'm so excited to keep doing what I love, sharing what I love, growing in the dance area, learning more about dance, exploring New York, everything, and just, like, getting to share all with you and, like, posting about it and crafting, just, like, creating. Uh, I love it all. But, yeah. This was just a little quick caffeinated chat. Is that what I called it? Caffeinated chats with Ken's for your Friday morning or Friday evening or whenever you're watching this. I love you guys so much. I love all the messages you guys send me. I try to reply. I try to reply to as many as I can, but... I love them and know that I see them all and I appreciate them all because you guys seriously mean so much to me and the support means more than you know, really. And I do genuinely look at my DM requests and DMs every single day. So yeah. And keep sending me people you guys want on the podcast because I've literally DM'd so many people just based off of your guys' recommendations and it honestly like helps me create like new relationships too. So yeah. I love you guys, and thank you for watching. And comment, what would Loyla say? Comment a red heart emoji if you made it all the way to the end. And also, I reply to all of your guys' comments down below. There's been lots of questions on where we got this Nouveau first place plaque because it is the new one from the new season, and the secret about that will come out soon. But unfortunately, I need my trusty sidekick Loyla here to tell me with tell you guys with me because it all has to do we actually were talking about making an apology video (laughs) as to why we have the nouveau first place pack but with time will come answers only time can tell and with that thank you and good night make sure to like subscribe comment and i will see you guys with a new vlog on tuesdays and a new podcast with a guest on friday i love you guys